God this morning because it's good and it's good time. There's none to be compared to him. Uh, God is good. To begin a new morning like this can only be God. Just magnify his name. Let us magnify, let's praise him, adore him and give him praise, give him glory for none can be compared to him. Magnify him for his faithfulness and love. Thank you because there's none to like unto him. Our uh, God is good, our uh, God is kind, our uh, God is mighty to be praised. Worship him and give him praise for his faithfulness and for his love. He's awesome, he's good, he's kind. Thank him for a new morning like this, and a new beginning like this, and a season of joy untold. The season that we go on, the season everybody will know that God indeed is in our midst giving praise for what he has proposed in his mind to do for us thanking for all that he has proposed in his mind to do in our individual life thank him and worship his holy name mind to do us good he has proposed in his mind to be kind to us worship and magnify his holy give him praise adore him and give him praise adore him and give him praise is worthy of our praise is worthy of our praise thank him for that which he has in store for you thank you for that which he has in store for you thank him because it's something great in store for you giving praise and giving glory giving praise and giving glory for great thing god has in store for all of us for our families and for our homes for great thing he has in store for our lives Magnify him and give him praise. Blessed be his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise Father, be honored. We say thank you because of those you have in store for us. For great and mighty thing you have in store for us. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for every good thing and great thing you have in store for us. Oh, grace, glory to you forever in Jesus' mighty name. We rejoice in your faith. We rejoice in your love. We rejoice in your kindness. We rejoice in all the great things we know you will do in our life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you because you put in our heart the grace to believe you, to trust you, and to have our confidence in you that you are able and wonderfully able to do great things in our lives. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for past big events. Thank you for all that you did in the past. And thank you for all we know you will do right now again. Glory to your name forever, Daddy. Glory to your name forever, Daddy. Magnify him, brethren, and worship him. Magnify him and worship him. Magnify him and worship him. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his faithfulness in your life and in your family. Thank him because he has done great things for you. Oh, magnify his name. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise. Sing to his name and worship him. He has done great things for me. He has taken away my sorrow. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He's coming to take me. Thank you because he has done great things for you. He has done marvelous things for you. 
it will keep your mind at peace. She is coming. It will keep your heart at peace. She is coming. It will keep you in perfect peace. She is coming. Give him praise and worship him. Thank him for great thing he has done. For marvelous thing he is doing. For wonderful thing he has done. Give him praise and give him glory. For yourself and for your children. For yourself and for your family. For yourself and for your loved ones. For great, great thing God has done for you. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Giving praise, giving praise, giving praise, giving praise. Magnify his holy name. Adore him and exalt him. Adore him and exalt him. Bless him and honor him. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. For your kindness, we are grateful. For your mercy. We are grateful for your goodness. We are grateful. Thank you, Baron, for all the great, great things he has done for you. Marvelous are thou, O oh Father. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. You will say that this morning I have come to your presence. Give me utterance in the place of prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. Lord, give me utterance in the place of prayer. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, I've come to seek you. I've come to say prayer to you. I've come to sacrifice the, the words of my mouth in the place of prayer this morning. Lord, give me utterance in Jesus' mighty name. Let me offer according to your will. Let me offer according to your mind. Let me offer according to your faithfulness to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me offer in Jesus' mighty name. God, according to your will. In account to your mind for me this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, give me right to what to say for me and for my own, for all mine. This morning, in Jesus' mighty name, help me in this season of prayer, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says, with the heart, man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth, confidence is made unto salvation. I want to confess with your own mouth this morning. It's my season of joy untold. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I believe it and I confess it. Father, because with the heart, Lord, man believes. And with the mouth, confession Father, must be made. Lord, I confess because I believe in my heart. With my mouth, Father, I confess it this morning. And I will keep confessing this month. It is my month and my season of joy untold. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm beginning this morning with an angelic visit in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, it is my season of joy and truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy never had before my generations. Joy never told before my generation that history has never recorded. Lord, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, I enter to possess it in Jesus' mighty name. I'm entering to possess my possession. The Bible says there shall be deliverance. And the house of Israel shall possess the possession. Lord, this morning I am possessing my possession because it's my season of joy untold. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's not just a season of joy, but a joy never had before, a joy never told before, a joy no one in my generation has ever celebrated before. It's my season of joy untold in the mighty name of Jesus. In my season of joy untold in Jesus' mighty name. In my season of joy over much, joy untold, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Could we pray for your family before we go to the main program. You will discover in the past few prayer, we I constantly raise prayers on praying to override debts. And somebody says a, a kind of request to us that should pray, pray for the family. They are working, no doubt, but they are constantly in debt. So I see something in the pocket that is draining the money away. Each time money comes in, it also flies away somehow. But there will be an end to that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, the we command the angel of God to visit that family Father, and put an end, end to that loss in Jesus' mighty name. Put an end to debt in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be joy unto in their finance in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for that family, for the man in particular, the head of the family, and for every member of that house. We 
We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy untold in your finance. In Jesus' mighty name. Joy untold in your finance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every leakage in your, in your pocket, every calabash taking away the, the, the grace of God in your pocket, we break them by the name of Jesus Christ and by the hand of the angel of heaven, by the hand of the angel of his presence, we break away every leakage in Jesus' mighty name. And we see then the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Every death is paid right now, and every leakage leading to death is destroyed and is sealed with the blood of Jesus Christ. We are seen as being invoked, the grace to repent and to totally be forgiven. We commit to your family this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we repent, we declare you are forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus. Every constant death, constant death in that family, we put an end to it in Jesus' mighty name. Every calabash, every satanic object that we planted in the pocket that is taking away your money, we break them now in the mighty name of Jesus. By the hand of the angel of his presence, we break them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Right from now, you begin to enjoy your finance. No more sorrow and death in that family in Jesus' mighty name. We declare your finance is liberated. We declare you financially liberated by the power of the Lord of Jesus Christ and unity of faith. We say you are financially liberated in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Is there anyone in like manner in our midst of the suffering sin? I've raised that prayer several in the past few weeks. Because I believe that it's a financial draining in the family, things will not go the way it ought to be. It can even cause many things. On actually fighting, on actually, you know, anger and all that can happen in the family. So you want to pray for yourself. And then one word to pray for others in the midst. I've been going through such similarities. The financial things are not well. They are constantly in debt because something is just leaking off the thing somehow in their pocket. This one say enough is enough in Jesus' mighty name. We declare that right now enough is enough. Joy untold in, that, in the finances that in the finances of that family in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy untold in the finances of every family in our means. In my family, joy untold. In your family, joy untold. In our finance, in the mighty name of Jesus. In our finance, John told in Jesus' mighty name. I declare John told in all our finances in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we are there are debt. Let debt are paid now by the power of your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This morning we'll be discussing John untold via angelic ministrations. Joy untold via angelic ministrations or angelic visitation. It's an angel called the angel of his presence. And his belief is Lord himself. Be the chief among the angels. Himself is an angel, the angel of God. And he's called the angel of his presence. And because himself is king among the angel. You cannot be king among angels unless you are angel yourself. Just as can be king among human beings, unless you are human yourself. No man can go and be king among animals. You can only be king among your own type. So if he is the angel of his presence, then it makes him an angel himself. And therefore, he has to be involved in our lives, in our finance. There have been great angelic visitations in the past. In the Bible account of them, so many. And there are testimony from here and there in, like, in contemporary testimony about angelic visitations. God sometimes sent angels to his people. And it's my belief, at least in a lifetime, there shall be, there should be an angel that comes visiting you, at least in a lifetime, if not on regular basis. And I even love it more on regular basis. Even happening once in a lifetime, you won't forget it. How much more if it's happening on regular basis? But if there's any angel that should come, most and foremost is the angel of his presence, because his hand is the power of the presence of God. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name. My life is open to the visit of your visit, Lord, in Jesus' Father, mighty name. Jesus. By the hand of the angel of your presence in Jesus' mighty name. My life is open to you. My doors are open to you. My family is open to you. Everything about me is open to you. Come visiting in the mighty name of Jesus. With your visit, the joy untold. 
Lord, come visit in the mighty name of Jesus. Are there any hands of darkness manifesting in my life? Are there any patterns I don't like in my life? Are there anything that is manifesting in my life? Just as we are praying for a family that is having financial issue. Lord, in any way, the demons of power of darkness are manifesting in my home. Let the angel of your presence come down and smash away every demonic object in Jesus' mighty name. Let the angel of your presence come down and smash away every presence of darkness and their manifestation in any form, in any way. Smash them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every object, every darkness, every power of wickedness manifesting in any area of my life. Let the angel of your presence come down and smash them away in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, we have this morning you come down to our knees and to our individual lives and send forth your angels Amen. to manifest your presence. Amen. And more importantly, your son, the angel of your presence, I call it the angel of God's presence. Father, we ask for the presence of your sons in our life. Amen. Jesus Christ, please manifest yourself. Amen. That will say your hand, it's your hand, it's your rod. You will smash away all the walls of darkness and the power of the wicked one. Amen. Lord, with the rod of your hand and the sword of your mouth, we smash this morning every manifestation of darkness in all our homes, in our finance, in our families, in our children's life, in our marital lives, in our spiritual life, whichever way darkness is showing, we smash away all those demonic calabash, Amen. demonic objects, Amen. demonic of covering Amen. in all our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Have your way this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We glorify in our midst. Amen. And let there be joy unto it. Amen. In the mighty name of Oh, Jesus. Amen. Lord, we are not just praying for spiritual things, we are praying for it to manifest physically. In all the scriptures, except in one or two cases, mostly when angel visit men, it's always a physical thing. Angel visit the wife of Manuel, the mother of Samson. The wife, the husband Korea said, Why not he come to me first? And yet the same man came and appeared to the, the woman, then to the husband. Angel came to Mary. They are not dreaming. They came to them. Angel came, came to Mary. What she wasn't dreaming was a life issue. Physically, the man came. When Zechariah was in the temple, the same Gabriel too went. He wasn't dreaming. He went to see him one on one. Lord, in the same manner we pray this morning. One on one. Family by family. Home by home. Amen. Individual of us, as we believe and say, Amen. Amen. We will be visited by angels in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's my system, it's my belief, and I know it is scriptural that there should be at least one angelic visit in every Christian life. And if you're so privileged, it should be constant, it should be common. Lord, not just at least once, but consistently so this month. Amen. May we experience angelic visit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We know you have done it. Yes, we believe you will do it and you have done it. Amen. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Brethren, I welcome to the season of joy untold in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We don't just say this as a, as a title, as a topic we are considering, but please believe it. The Bible says, you will receive the reward of a prophet if you believe the prophet. Please believe, I for once believe what we are doing here and claim and determine your mind that it's your season of joy untold. And joy never had before in your own entire lineage. You begin to see it in your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God will fight for you Amen. and will hold your peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And joy unto shall be yours perpetually and permanently so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say a good and a better amen. amen. Please believe these things. You say believe and it shall be to you according as you believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We begin by singing a hymn for this morning. It's on our page already. And also in the, in the prayer guide we already shared on the page. 
let us with a glass of mind. Maybe I will try the prayer guide overnight so I can sit early on, all of us, from tomorrow or for today by God's grace. Forgive me for sharing late this morning. Let us with a glass of mind. Praise the Lord for he is kind. For his faith mercies that endure, ever faithful, ever sure. Now, if you read from um, the our test we took last week, which is uh, 2 Chronicles 30, verse 26, 25 and 26. 2 Chronicles 30, verse 25. It began from the earlier verses. It is said they kept a feast unto the Lord. Just as we are keeping a prayer feast of four days now, I call it prayer banquet, prayer feast of four days. And they said they did it with a glass of mind, with a rejoicing in their heart. And that same way, I want us to take this four days. Take the prayer rejoicingly and take the season rejoicing in love. Go throughout your day, these four days, just rejoicing in God. And you see God visiting you by his joy untold in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That was the five of Second Chronicles 30 say, and all the congregation of Judah with the priests and the Levites and all the congregation, that's all of all this morning, and um, with the priests ministering, came out of Israel. And the strangers, uh, visitors, people we are inviting to join us, they all came out of the, all the land of Israel and that dwell in Judah, and they all rejoice. I pray this morning we manifest joy as we sing unto him and as we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And because they rejoice, God now added to their joy, joy never had and never told before. So there was a great joy in Jerusalem. For since the time of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, there was none like so in all Jerusalem. They rejoiced so much. The joy was so great that it has never been like that in Jerusalem since the days of Solomon, like more than 100 years to the time you are talking now. And I pray that we put in our own family, in our own life too. Actually, this is our ministry in Jesus' mighty name. Okay. The joy we have never had, we have never experienced before since the beginning of the ministry and the beginning of our very lives and our family far back as the last hundred years, according to the scripture, that kind of joy, God, we add to our joy in Jesus' mighty name. If I was mentioning the church, I say, God, always look for a grant of, of, um, of receiving, a grant of receiving upon which we minister joy untold. Everyone that ever received joy and truth in the scripture, there was always a grant of receiving. And all the grant of receiving is you do whatever you are doing with a glass of mind. Amen. That's why you should listen this in for throughout this period. That you should rejoice and praise God with a glass of mind. It's a common grant of receiving. God don't actually most times visit such souls. Strong time to rejoice, whatever that comes your way. And what when you find joy in it, God will surely visit you and add joy to your joy, and the joy shall be joy untold in Jesus' mighty name. So let us sing with a glass of mind this morning as we consider joy untold via angelic visitations. So we see that song now, our hymn now, one to go. Let us with a glass of mind. Praise the Lord for He is kind. For His mercies we are endured, ever faithful, ever sure. Let us bless His name abroad, for of God He is a God. For His mercies shall endured, ever faithful, Ever shown, he with his commanding mind, be the new made war we like. For his mercy shall endure, ever faithful, ever shown. All things living, he does be, his full hand supplies their need. For his mercy shall endure, ever faithful, ever sure. He is chosen, ready, blessed in the way for we are For his mercy 
cha e dio e va fe fu e va sho ebru mo ba spot se i did not all ministering spirit talking about angel send forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation angel has sent forth to minister to heir of salvation those that believe in the lord jesus christ and me and you are one of those and god has sent his angel to minister to us in one form or the other in the past and even though we may not know it yet if we yet send more this is in the mighty name of jesus Amen. i just go ahead and say that i thank for your past angelic ministration to my life in the mighty name of jesus either i am aware of them or not i know in one form or the other at one time or the other you have sent angelic angels to me to, to to visit me and to minister to me lord thank you for this in the mighty name of jesus thank you for past angelic visitations that i've enjoyed at one point or the other in my life i've enjoyed visitation of angels thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit for not allowing me to be alone thank you because i am never alone I am never alone. I can never be alone because you are always sending your angels to visit me. Thank you for angelic penetrations that, that I know or I don't know, but I've enjoyed in the past. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for how you have visited me in one form or the other. Send your angel ahead of me in several occasions. I may not have even known them. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Remember the story of Balak when God sent angel to his way and uh, Balaam, and that angel would destroy that man. But the man did not see the angel, though physically was right in his presence. The donkey could see it. And the donkey wouldn't move. And the man began to call a donkey and beat the donkey. And the donkey voice out and say, Why are you doing this? Have I disobeyed you the past? And the, the man now began to wonder. Eventually, his eyes was open. The angel was practically in his front to kill him, but he never was seen it. Now, that was an unfriendly angel. That was why the donkey was forced to talk. But imagine if it's a friendly one. The angel wouldn't have seen, I mean, the donkey wouldn't have seen anything. And that is how God has been leading him practically all his life. There's always an angel going ahead of him and guiding his way. The donkey has seen many, he has not talked. Do not many times your car has seen angel and obey the angel and uh, did not run into accident. Do not many times you have been in a taxi and angel has been ahead of that taxi. That, 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 that very cool saw it, but he didn't see it. Do not many times the angel has preserved by your family. You may even have a dog and a dog will see the angel moving around the house. The, 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 because they are friendly one, the angel kept the, the dog quiet, it didn't back. Do not many times around you, angel has been around you. You didn't see them, but they are there guiding and preserving your ways. You may not, because you don't see, you don't know. That's why you don't know how to praise him. Many times that donkey has seen angel in the past. I want to believe so. But because they are friendly one, you never see anything. Until a deadly one came, and the thing knew that if I should move a step ahead, this man will die. No wonder sometimes we experience delay. Sometimes we experience hookup. Sometimes we experience traffic. Sometimes we experience our vehicle not just moving for no reason, for so good for, for no reason, because they can see things ahead of us that we are not seeing many times. And because we cannot see, we all even quarry ourselves, even quarry the car. Why are you misbehaving at this time? Why is that now that I need you most? You start behaving like And we even quarry the car, and the port cannot talk to tell you, look at your front. Say, so, I thank you for past visitation of angel. How you have protected me and protected me and kept me in the past in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, why you kept my family. There are times my whole family are in the car and we move a diving scene in our front. Yeah, your, the angel of your presence was always there, guiding and preserving us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for my children. They are going forth and they are coming in. You preserve them. You kept them. We are my eyes couldn't go with them. We are my presence wouldn't be with them. The angel of your presence was always there preserving and keeping my own thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit you have visited me in the past you have done great things for me thank you holy spirit oh for great thing you have done to me by the hands of angels 
in the past, I said, thank you. I may not have known them. I may not have seen them. But I know you kept me in the past by the hands of angels. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For protection of joy. thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It's only when a king loves you. He will say, let one of my servants follow you to your house. When you are in favor of a government, they will give you police orderly. When you no longer in their favor, they will draw the orderly from you. That is how God works when they say as it is in the physical, so as it is in the spiritual, Jesus say, so it is in the physical. They say as it is in your kingdom, so be it on earth. Sometimes God allows his angel to wait on us and we don't even know it. They protect us, they preserve us, they kept us. Why are we saying this? Just to thank God for what he here do. We are trying to appreciate him for what he has done in the past because it's a season of joy untold. And sometimes God sends angels to manifest joy in the life of his people, which I believe it is time we experience this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mary experienced it. He said, Beloved, you are now blessed among above all women. And before you know it, this man was indeed blessed and became the mother of our Lord. And several, several like that, we had, we had angels visit men and women, and they are blessed. But before then, we must thank God. What we start need to ask for more. Let us thank you for what you have done in the past. Say that I thank you for protection in the past. You have kept me and protected me and my family by the hand of your angel. Thank you for your angel that constantly wait for me. Thank you. The Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow me. These are angels. They constantly follow me. Angels of his presence. Goodness is always with me. Mercy is always with me. I am never alone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have never been alone. My family member, my children, for my sake, I've never been alone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are always preserving and guiding me. I'm going over ahead of me in nothing. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you for helping you in time in your hours of need in the past. There are times in the past we are that safe the road are blocked, and there's no way out. And God has stepped in for your help. You might even look back now, you know there was a time in your life where you knew that it can only be God that intervened. Say that thank for past help in my hours of need. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You came, you strengthened me. You came, you helped me. When they thought I will break down, when they thought I will collapse, when the enemy thought that would be the end of my life, you came in and you encouraged me. When I was sick and down, and they thought I would be the end, you came in and you healed me. When my son was sick and down, and they thought he would die. When my girl was sick and down, and they thought she would die, you came in and you helped us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For your help by your angelic visit in my time of need. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Jesus was in the garden of Keshman and was in of need, was practically stranded. But before he could get stranded, for naturally, the angel came and ministered unto him and received enough strength to face the cavalry ahead of him. Mm. Elijah was in a mess, mostly caused by himself with his mouth, and God sent and even to be feeding him. At a point, wasn't eating as you eat, an angel came and told him, Elijah, eat now, for the journey ahead is much. He was threatened by an angel, and the food they brought for him and the ate and the ate was the strength for the next 40 days. Many times God has helped us like that without we even knowing it. Yourself knew there was a time that boy would have died. Yourself knew there was a time that girl would have been taken away from you. But God stepped in. Yourself knew there was a time in your own very life would have been denied you. But God stepped in. You are still alive now. Isn't by the hand of his angel? Isn't by his mercy? Isn't by because it's good to you? Say that I thank you for how your hand in my life. In my hours of need, I felt it. You kept me. That is why things are okay with me at this time. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your faithfulness in my hours of need. 
Thank you for your faithfulness. When you are needed you most, you stepped in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In a way, I can why we have to explain what happened that time. I will have to explain what happened that thing. If not for you, if not for you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For men and women you sent to me like angel that helped me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I want to tell you a story here of myself when I was in a very critical need of help. And uh, that woman came and just gave me that injection in nurse and just say that would be the end that you told me, God, that I did this for anybody and uh, this and this will happen. She prayed and she injected me. And that was the last I took. I told you before here like that. And that was the last time I saw, I saw that woman. She's an angel God sent to me. I don't know if she's woman or not, but I know she's an angel that I just needed at that time. I know sometimes God has helped you like that. That doctor came, changed the drug, and that was end. That nurse came, said, don't take this again, and do this, and that was end. That boy came, that mom, that mechanic came. When you are stranded on the road, he came. Many of them do not come by their own self. Something sent them there. A hand led them there, and that was how they are paid. Father, we say thank you for all this. Thank you, Lord. We say, blessed be your holy name. Please, you. let's wave your hand to him and worship him. Father, Magnify him and thank him. Say that I thank for all you have done in the past by angelic visit. And I thank for what you see do for me in the front, in the future, for me and for all mine, for what you yet do for us by the hands of your angels, human or spirits alike, that you will send our way. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank for all the wonderful things you have in store for us by the hands of angels. Thank for the marvelous things you have in store for us by the hands of angels. Thank for the great things you have in store for us by the hands of angels. We say, Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank for the wonderful things you have in store for us by the hands of angels. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now we have to pray. And please believe me, when I say in jelly visit, I mean in jelly visit. And I don't just mean spiritual one now. Even physically speaking, you can experience it. You have even experienced it before, you just don't you might not know. But we are speaking now, you might look back and need to understand why that man came, why that woman came. Sometimes something led them to that place. God led many of them by the hand of his angel to come to your head. Things just happen. Don't just happen, brethren. Take that from me. Nothing happened by mistake. Everything are ordered by God, especially to his own children. Everything are ordered by God. You are stranded on a bridge. Your car broke down. A man came from nowhere, helped you. Everything are ordered by the hand of God. Nothing happened by mistake. Take that from me. And having that in your mind, we will consciously pray now and say, Father, I need your visit by the hand of your angel in the mighty name of Jesus. A kind of visit that will bring joy unto to me, joy unto to my family, joy unto to my children, joy unto to my home. I need such now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I need this is in this particular time of my life. I need it in the mighty name of Jesus. I have prayed, I have fasted. And yet I have not seen the changes I desire. Lord, at this time of my life now, I know you can physically send angels to me. Lord, please send angels to my visit, to my help in the mighty name of Jesus. Send angels to my help in the mighty name of Jesus. Send your angels, the angel of your presence, Lord. Send your angels to my help in the mighty name of Jesus. Minister to my need, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Send your angels to my life in Jesus' mighty name, to my children, to my wife, to every member of my household. Lord, let us experience angelic visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I put some references down. You can take your time and go through them. There are samples of angelic visit in the life of men. Physical visit now, not just spiritual one. We have, we are, it's, it's a time you get to in your life. You want it to just happen to encourage you physically. You can receive angelic visit and your faith will not increase. And that's why I believe in physical visitation by angels. 
Every child of God should enjoy it. Every child of God should enjoy it. I've told several times here, we are, I have felt, I receive an angel. I want to visit one of the daddy, the in Lagos. I, I want to believe she's in this prayer now. And was telling me of a particular incident that he had an accident and was practically lifeless. His leg was got bad and many things happened. Uh, and uh, many people are just passing, nobody will come to his help. Somebody just came from nowhere, helped him, took him to the hospital, and uh, that was the end he saw with that man. He never saw him again. Talking to a woman of place, she said me the same thing. They, were, they had an accident, nobody came to their help. Somebody just came from nowhere, took them to the clinic, paid for their bill, and, and they gave, even gave him the phone number, but never, never go through. Till today, they didn't know where he, he came from. Those people have claimed their life, but God sent his angel to help them. Half may not be at that extreme end. I've told before in the past how in my family we don't have food. Many years ago, now when I was quite small, and somebody came from nowhere, dropped food on our door, and that was the life we saw of him today. God do visit his son at one point or the other. People have been sick before, and they Somebody came to their bedside and touched them. Was, somebody was telling me just about last. Somebody was telling me it was it was uh, practically between life and death. And a man came to sit by his bed. The door was locked. It was in a private clinic where the door was locked. The man walking, not in the door. He saw it himself. And the man touched him and said, "Carry a Bible." He a particular part of the Bible. And the man spit to him. By the time the man was getting out of the door, the doctor was coming in. And I said, you see that man that just went out now? I said, the door was locked when I was coming in. Nobody was here because we locked the door ourselves. And we opened it when you are coming in, as now. And the man, and they couldn't understand why the man would say something. And from that point in time, every form of sickness in him disappeared. What they were dealing with for days, and they couldn't even help him. Brethren, angels still visit people. Physically speaking now, not just spiritually, I don't see it and I don't know it. And that is the type I am praying for. You cannot have such a decision and your life remain the same. It's not possible. It's not. Especially when you are in the knowledge of it, it's not possible. Say, I will not walk through life alone in the mighty name of Jesus. I will receive timely help of angels in Jesus' mighty name. I will not walk through life alone in the mighty name of Jesus. I will receive timely help in Jesus' mighty name. Please pray this prayer for your children as well. Call them by their name if you can, that none of them will walk through time in life alone. They will receive timely angels in the mighty name of Jesus. It might not be every day to you, but at least on a timely basis, when they needed it most, they will always receive angelic help in the mighty name of Jesus. That will bring them joy unto it in the mighty name of Jesus. For me, for my life, for my wife, comfort, for my children, for every member of my household. For every member of praying, praying, prayer group, first family church, all of us, angelic visits, timely angelic visits from this hour and forth in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will know that this can only be God in the mighty name of Jesus. Physical visit, spiritually visit, well, in every way you desire, Lord, let there be timely visit of angels in Jesus' mighty name. I will not walk through life alone. I will not walk through life alone in the mighty name of Jesus. No member of my house will walk alone. No member of this ministry will walk alone in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to be alone in Jesus' mighty name. I will not walk alone through life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not walk alone through life in Jesus' mighty name. I will receive timely angelic help in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be stranded. I refuse to be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. At no point we have been stranded. At no point will my children be any of my children be stranded with that and help in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be stranded. I cannot be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not walk through life alone in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says, An angel appeared to the Jesus Christ. Luke 22, verse 43. And then I see a reference like this. I'm a kind of uh, touched. Jesus Christ, God the personal, is perfectly God and perfectly human. You wonder if you need an angel. But at that point, engagement was perfectly human. At that season, when he was in that garden, 
that it was perfectly human and it was going through what any man should have gone through. And the whole heaven and hell was on him because it was to pay the, the pain, the, the sacrifice that beyond what any other man would have ever been able to do. Another point, his strength was going. And God knew if I didn't step in now, this man will likely fail. He was even already praying, God, let this cup be taken over me if you so will, but let your will be done. You know what God did? God sent an angel to strengthen him. And there appeared an angel to him from heaven and strengthened him. It wasn't a spiritual thing. He saw the physical angel coming at that time to strengthen him. Brethren, there come a time in our life like that. Some sickness will not go unless an angel come and touch you. Some conditions, some debt cannot be paid. Even if we pay and down we come, unless an angel come and touch that pocket. There are some things that will not just go unless God send an angel to do something new. Somebody will perpetually remain weak and tired unless an angel come and put strength in that body. And if you believe this, it is your turn to have this kind of joy untold. You will raise up your right hand to heaven, wherever it may be right now, and say, Father, Lord, touch my hand Father, by the hand of your angel. In the mighty name of Jesus, I raise my hand to you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Send forth an angel to strengthen me in every season of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus Christ, King Jesus Christ was strengthened by an angel. Lord, I receive strength this morning by the hand of angels in Jesus' mighty name. As I go out today and for the rest of this month and for the rest of this year, every point in time we are in need an angelic visit, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive and I'm received now in Jesus' mighty name. Many times strength to my body and to my life and to my family by the ministry of your angels in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me physically stronger. Make me physically able to do my work, to go out and to come in in the mighty name of Jesus. Make my children physically strong and physically able to go out and to come in to do their daily thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Take away sickness from this body and for everybody in my life and my family and everybody in the life of this ministry, everyone, this ministry takes sickness away from our body in Jesus' mighty name. Every leaky pocket. Let the angel go down and see that pocket by the blood of Jesus Christ in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, send forth your angel and bring joy unto in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You can bring your hand down now. In Luke 1 28, I will say, An angel came in unto her, talking about Mary, and said, Hey, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed among a thou among women. You say you are favored. And because you are favored, that's why an angel came. The God of the angels of God only visit those God as favored. I want to us when we travel one day to Abukuta. I think that was our first time there, me and my wife, or our second I can't remember. And we lost our way in that town. And where we are probably moving and not knowing how to move out. And a man just appeared to us and uh, wave us down. And uh, we don't even wave us down. We, we just stopped by him. I told my wife, we just asked anybody. We don't, we have been moving and I don't, don't, don't let to anybody else. We saw that man by the road and we met and we just parked by her, by him. And we said, we are going to so and so place. Can you please uh, get our way? We are going to Badan. Can you please get our way out to get out of this town on our road to Badan? And uh, the man said, I'm going that same direction myself. Can you just please? Pick me. And we say, okay, no problem, just enter. And the man entered. My wife was in the front with me. We had only two in the car. I was driving. And the man entered the back. And we are driving. I was letting us stay this way. Don't stay that way. There's a road corruption. That was where we even have a miss our way because there was many corruption on the road. So there are many loop, uh, inside, inside road that they are not passing with you, they are not familiar with. Don't take that road. Stay this way. The man led us and in and out of that. He told us, don't go this side. There are old up in the front. Go this side, like robots, we are following him. And before you know it, he got a particular place. He said, Stop me, stop here, let me drop. And uh, from here, and I just go straight. Don't branch anywhere. You see yourself in the back. 
and so as his word, so it we we came to by them. But when we drop him, because then because when I drop him and I look at him, I realized the man we pick all the while was white from head to toe, including his shoe. I told my wife, we just pick an angel. And since that day, I can't forget that experience. Brethren, that come in our life like that, where we need an angel. And God only send his angel to people he has favored. If you are not favored, he can't send one to you. And because you are here of salvation, you believe in Son Jesus Christ, then you are favored. I am favored. Say to yourself, I am favored in Jesus' mighty name. I am favored, I am favored in the mighty name of Jesus. God has favored me in Jesus' mighty name. And therefore, we send his angel to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn to prayer, say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, favor me and send your angel to me in Jesus' mighty name. In my goodness and my coming in, my children's goodness and coming in. For my sake, Lord, because I'm favored before you, favor my children in Jesus' mighty name, favor every member of my family, my sibling, my loved one, even people in my ministry, because I'm a favor of you, Lord, favor all of them in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive your favor. I am favor of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, send your angel to visit me and to help me in time of need in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your angel visit me and my family and my loved one. Send help our way, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I am favored. Send help our way in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Before we make the man just talk about tonight now, we first of all ask somebody for a road in that same place. And the man said, take this place, take the place, you find yourself. Don't know we took the exact thing, say we should do the exact thing we say we should do. We find ourselves back to the same point where we first met him. That was when I knew we need help. I don't know how somebody somebody by the road and say I need help. So and so I'm giving the wrong direction. We move around in what say we should do, but we came back to the same point where we asked him. I told my wife, that was where we before we asked this man for help now. He said that was true. That was when I knew now we need God's help. And God showed forth on our behalf because he favored us. You are favored in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God will show forth on your behalf Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare for yourself, my children are favor. My Myself, I am favor. God will show forth on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. If he show forth, he send forth his angel to favor me in the mighty name of Jesus. If he show forth his angel to favor me in the mighty name of Jesus. If he show forth his angel to favor me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I am favor in Jesus' mighty name. I am favor above all that ever been my family in the mighty name of Jesus. I am favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, God will send his angel to favor me and my children in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And because God is bringing people your way, joy will follow, joy untold. And therefore, this joy will last your lifetime in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that angel visited in the Bible, physically speaking now, whatever comes their way was never taken out of their life again. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that what comes my way this month will not be taken away by the, by, by, by the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Why I pray for that prayer for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. All the joy you will bring my way, you will not be taken away by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Not sin, not self, not whatever of, of, of the enemy will take them away in Jesus' mighty name. My joy will last. My joy in my children, my joy in my marriage, my joy in my home, my joy in my work. Whichever direction you bring joy my way, and in all direction you bring joy my way, they shall last in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall last and go beyond even this month and this year in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall last me in my entire life in the mighty name of Jesus. They will last in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. The Bible says the angel of God was telling the wife of Moab, the father of, uh, of uh, Samson in Judges 13, verse 3. He said, The angel of Lord appeared to him and said, You are barren. You didn't have your own children, but now you will conceive. Mm -hmm. The same angel went to Elizabeth, the wife of Zechariah, and they, they have, I mean, Zechariah himself, the husband of Elizabeth. They have no children. And they just appear and say, you have no children because your wife couldn't bear, but now you are favored. Mm -hmm. And it happened 
as the angel had said unto them. It was in the hearts of men that they were becoming late. But when God stepped in, it was the right time. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, do not allow me to be put to shame before you intervene by the hand of your angel in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not allow me to be put to shame before you intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn things around to my favor. Turn things around to my help in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not allow me to be put to shame before you intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. You do not allow Zachariah and his wife to be put to shame. You do not allow the mother of Samson to be put to shame. You didn't allow Mary to be put to shame. Even when the pregnancy came, you didn't allow her to be put to shame. You intervened by talking to the husband. Lord, intervene in my matter. Do not allow me to be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. On the matter of my daughter, on the matter of my son, on the matter of my family, Lord, do not allow me to be put to shame. On the matter of our conception, Lord, on the matter of our finance, on the matter of our life, Lord, everything that happens to our, to our life, do not allow me to be put to shame before you intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, intervene now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And we give me pray for a family that asks and should pray for them. Because they suspect the hand of the enemy in their finance. Why are they always in debt? Why are things not straightening up, even though they are working? You know, things are not just balancing as it should be. And we pray for them. And the same way you want to pray for yourself again. That Lord, don't allow the enemy to push me to shame before you intervene. If you don't intervene, how do we pay our debt? If you don't intervene, how will this sickness go? If you don't stand your angel to touch me, how will I be strong? If you don't intervene in our life, how will the enemy not prevail? Father, please do not allow the enemy to prevail before you send forth your, your angel to visit in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, arise for my sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do not allow me to put to shame before you turn things around. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do not allow me to put to shame. Do not allow me to put to shame in Jesus' mighty name. Send your angel to destabilize and frustrate all satanic manifestation in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Send your angel to destabilize and frustrate all satanic activity in my life and in my family and in my home, known and unknown to me. Send your angel to destabilize them in the mighty name of Jesus. Send your Angels and bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Say, I believe in the ministry of angel, and I shall enjoy it in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe in angelic visit, and I will enjoy the same in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe in angelic visit, and I will enjoy the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Two prayer in one, and number one, you pray for angelic visits in our home, praying, praying, prayer group, and the ministry as a whole. Then you pray for the same in Nigeria, that God will send his angel to visit his country. Amen. We are now at the level where we need that. All the balance in our country, God will send angel of darkness, angel of death to visit them Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All the one frustrating us in this country, one by one, if they repeat to repent, God will start visiting them now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But for us and our ministry, God will send angel of light, Amen. angel of grace, Amen. angel of joy Amen. to us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead and pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I will pray for ourselves in the ministry, everyone, every home, every family. Even when the ministry is said, pray, 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 group and the church, for family church. Lord, please send forth your angel to visit in the mighty name of Jesus. In all our meeting, as we are doing right now, may we experience angelic visit in Jesus' mighty name. Angel will mingle with us. Angel will tabernacle with us by the grace of God, by the fruit of Jesus. In all our meeting, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for Nigeria. Send forth your angel to move around in this country in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy and drive away every satanic influence upon Nigeria and upon our government in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demon in our government houses using politicians in the name of Jesus. We put our name to your activity in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, every politician bringing forth an important demons into our government houses in the mighty name of Jesus. We send angel of death to visit them. If they refuse to repent, send angel of death to visit them and to declare their offices empty in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.
Can you just ask for anything you want as we close now on your own life now? Ask personally for me, I just ask Lord, let your angel be spared me visit in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and ask now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, let your angel pay me visit. Is there any area of your life where you want angelic visit? Is it your finance? Is it your job? You want an idea that will make that job to progress? Ask for angelic visit. What do you want? Most great things that are done in the past are done either by demons or by angels. Lord, we want angels in our own case, not demons. Lord, send angels to our means. Send angels to our families. Send angels to our home. Visit our home and our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it your finance you want an angel to touch? Please ask now. Is it the opposite? They are ministry angels that are sent forth to the children of God. You are a child of God, then you desire to have angelic touch, angelic ministry, angelic visitation, and bring forth joy untold. No joy come unless by the hand of God. Lord, send forth joy untold to me by the hand of your angel in this area, in that area. Ask now, is it concession? Is it fruit of the body? Is it fruit of your business? Is it fruit of your life? Is it fruit of the ministry? Whatever you want to go for now. Is there a sickness you want God to touch that body and disappear? That, that sickness disappear? Is there a child, a boy, a girl you need to pray for? Is, is it your husband you need to pray for? Is it your wife you want to pray for? Is it your work in your office? They are denying you of your promotion. They cannot deny you for too long. If you ask that God send forth your angel, to speak on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask now that angels should speak on your behalf. You don't care that they come as a human being or they come as spirits, it doesn't matter how they come. My own is that let angels speak on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. We are my fights are being considered, let angels speak on my behalf. We are my case are being considered, let angels speak on my behalf. When demons are meeting and talking about me, let angels speak on my behalf. When men and women are speaking about me when I'm not there, let angels speak on my behalf. When I'm going on a journey, and my children are going on a journey, when they are in school, I am not there. Whatever, wherever, all that is mine are, let angels speak on my behalf. Begin to ask God now where and how you want angels in those areas of your life where you want angels to speak. How God will do it is not your problem. Yours is to ask. Whatever you ask in Jesus' name, believe you will receive. Ask now that Lord send forth an angel to pay me visit in this area, in that area, and let my joy be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Begin to bring your prayer to our end now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to you alone, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so I do say thank you on this on Sunday this morning. Bible says they are ministry spirits sent forth to minister to them who shall be heirs of salvation. And we are the heirs of salvation because we are joined here with Jesus Christ. We have inherited salvation in him. And therefore, angel ought to minister to us according to your word in Hebrew 1 verse 14. You will not do anything except by your word. And because your words say, angel are to minister to our needs. This is in our joy untold, Father. According to how we have asked, according to how your people have tabled before you, in their secret and quiet moment, and they have cried to you about their finance, about their daughters, about their sons, about their spouses, about their spiritual life, whatever area of their life they have asked you about the fruit of the womb, fruit of their body, fruit of their labor, fruit of their finance. Whatever area they have asked, Lord, I declare, let there be angelic visitation now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will see angel. Amen. You will see the hand of angel. Amen. It will be obvious. Amen. It will be physical. Amen. It will be complete. Amen. It will be total. Amen. It will be undeniable Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Brethren, I believe in this so much, that God will send angels to his son. If you believe, please watch out. You will soon see God sending one your way in the mighty name of Jesus. And don't underestimate the hand of God when you see someone. And please, if God visits you, 
send help your way, you know it's beyond what you can ask, you have done yourself, and beyond what I've never been noticed in your family before. Please share with us and encourage others as we all wait for angelic visitation. And that will be our experiences in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of strong as they be. Why the Solomon joint here with Jesus, heaven, home, and I'm so glad with this family, family of God. God bless you and keep you. Amen. Every demon hiding around you and causing havoc and pain in your life at this moment, from this time, they are exposed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I said it again because it was still in my heart to pray that prayer for, for you. Every demon hiding your bedroom, every demon hiding your sitting room, every demon hiding and locking and undoing your children, tormenting and suffering you in any way, in any form. From this moment, I declare that space empty in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. They are exposed Amen. and they shall never be to hide in you and around you again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we are the occupied before angel of his presence. And the angels of God will come in now to multiply themselves in that place Amen. and to manifest themselves in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And that I say once again, may God bless you and keep you. Amen. May God shine a face upon you Amen. and be gracious towards you. Amen. May God lift up his curtain upon you and give you peace. Amen. And the angel of his presence minister grace and life to you Amen. and to your household in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will see angel, you will experience their visit Amen. and their hands in your life and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What have been that to impossible and now possible because angels are coming in now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for having answered our prayers. Thank you, you said they are sent to minister to our needs as air of salvation. Let this world be true in our life and our family Amen. from this moment and sport in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Sorry, I already taking about five minutes of your time. God bless you, brethren. As you go this morning, heaven will go with you, and you will see angels and and undoing, in and undo in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And because of our year of Holy Spirit, what do we say? Hallelujah for the Lord God omnipotent reign. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Go and prosper. I should believe in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is over. God bless you. Hallelujah for the Lord.